Hello and welcome to this presentation today on colour and eyewear. I'm really, really excited to have you with me. So if you stick along to the end of this presentation, you are going to learn your personal colour type, eyewear colours which will flatter and enhance you, and also we're going to touch on the psychology of colour and how you can use that to help you create the right impressions in business and in life. But before we go on, I would like to introduce myself and tell you who I am. So my name is Eva DeVay. I am an image consultant, an optometrist, and also co-owner of the multi-award winning styling opticians, Style Optique in the heart of Market Drayton Shopping. Now, we are an opticians with a difference. Firstly, we offer bespoke one hour personalized eyewear styling consultations or pamper sessions, as our clients like to call them, to help style you in eyewear that you love. We also have the most beautiful collection of independent eyewear in every shape or colour imaginable. Eyewear that's very different from the high street and eyewear that's as individual as you are. And finally, we are a small, friendly bunch who genuinely care and want to help you discover your perfect eyewear in a relaxing, fun environment. And here we are. I'd like you to meet our team. There's my husband, Sam. There's myself and Zoe. As a team, we understand that our glasses are our most visible accessory and are very often the very first thing people notice about us. And this has been compounded even more so in the last 12 months or so with the growth of Zoom and video messaging with friends and family and work colleagues. So it makes sense that such a visible accessory can have an impact on not only how we look, but also how we feel about ourselves and consequently how other people respond to us. Not only that, they're an accessory that we often wear every single day from morning until night, often for two years or more. So it's so important to get right and should not be a decision made in just 10 minutes like in most opticians. Your eyewear should not be a functional item that you feel bad in. It should be an accessory which helps you look good and feel the best version of yourself as well as help you to see. It can be used as a tool to help you stand out and feel good in business and in life. And at Style Optique, our dream is to help you find eyewear you put on each day, look in the mirror and feel amazing in. So let's talk about your perfect eyewear. Well, your perfect eyewear should be a frame which complements your unique face and features. It should be in a colour that makes you feel fabulous, but also which enhances your natural colouring. And most importantly, it should be a reflection of you, something which you put on and feel amazing in. Now today we are going to focus on just one of these aspects of a styling consultation and that is colour. So colour can be transformational. Wearing the right colours, particularly on the face where the, it's where your glasses sit so close to your hair, your skin and your eyes, really can have a huge impact on how you look. The right colours can make your eyes sparkle, your skin appear smoother, healthier and clearer and also make you feel good. And in contrast, the wrong colours can cast shadows on the face and highlight dark circles and wrinkles and can also make the skin appear grey and dull or sallow. And this is particularly a problem with those darker tones as we get a little bit older. Now, if colour is so transformational and magic and can have such an amazing effect, why, when it comes to eyewear, do so many people shy away from it? Well, firstly, it's because many opticians themselves are frightened of colour, so they don't tend to carry much colour in their collections. But it's also because people are afraid of getting it wrong or they think wrongly that it's better to go for blacks and browns because maybe it works with everything they wear. But very often these dark colours, particularly as we age, are not the best for your skin tone. And I will always say to my clients, would you wear black lipstick because it goes with everything? Imagine how severe that would look. 
So what I want you to do is look at all the beautiful colours in your face, the pink in your cheeks, all the colours in your eyes. It's far better to choose a colour which you love and which enhances your eyes and your skin and makes you look younger and healthier. And also a colour which works with your three to four main wardrobe colours. Then go for a safe black or brown. Now there is another very important aspect to help Ingalls choose a colour which works for you. And that is your personal or your emotional connection to colour. How you feel about certain colours and colours you are naturally drawn to is very personal to you. So if you are someone who has a creative style, you will probably be naturally drawn to unusual or interesting colour or pattern combinations. And you very often choose colours depending on your mood or your creative energy. Now, if you are someone who's dramatic in style and you like to be bold and fashion forward, you will be drawn naturally to bold statement energizing colors. If you are someone who has a natural romantic style, you will naturally be drawn to lighter, pastel, more prettier colors. If you are someone who's more natural in your style, you will probably be drawn to the colors of nature, low contrast color combinations like earthy browns, forest greens, tortoise shells. If you are someone who is very classic in your style personality, you will probably be drawn more to neutral colours which go with everything like greys, silvers, golds, blacks and browns. If you are someone who is city chic, you will be drawn to more elegant colour combinations. You will probably prefer lighter neutrals like rose browns and silvers or even a neutral with a small splash of another colour. So when we do a styling consultation with you we will analyse your dominant colouring but we will also discover colours which you love and make you feel good and we will tie both of these areas together to help you find colours which are the most flattering for you. So before I move on to helping you discover your personal colour type, I want you to understand a little bit about the science of colour. So I trained as an image consultant with Colour Me Beautiful and at Colour Me Beautiful we use the Munsell theory of colour, which is the basis of our system of colour analysis. Now Albert Munsell used three terms to describe a colour. The value or the depth, which is how light or dark a colour is. So if we use blue as an example, blue can vary from a very light sky blue up to a deep dark navy blue, for example. There's also the hue or the undertone of a colour. So every single colour will either have a warm yellow based undertone or a cool blue based undertone. So if we take red as an example, we may have a very warm orangey red, like a tomato red, or we might have a very cool blue based red, like a raspberry red. And the final element of colour is the chroma or the clarity or the intensity of a colour. So this is how true a colour is. So some colours are very bright, clear, vibrant and true, while others are much more softer, muted or subdued. So if we think of the colour green as an example, we may have a bright, clear emerald green in comparison to a softer, more muted olive green. Now, we use the Munsell theory of colour to give you a dominant characteristic or colour type. And we base this on looking at a combination of three things. Your hair colour, your eye colour and your skin tone. So our six dominant colour types are light and deep, warm and cool, clear and soft. And balance and harmony are achieved when you wear colours on the face which are the same as or similar to your own natural colouring. So I'm now going to talk about each of the six dominant colour types and I want you to try and recognise yourself in one of them. So if you are a light, 
Your overall look is light and delicate. You will have naturally blonde or very light hair. Your eyes will be a pale blue, a pale grey, perhaps a light green eye. Your eyelashes will probably be pale and so will your brows. And ladies, you very often have to pencil them in. Your skin will be delicate, very often porcelain in tone and may burn easily in the sun. So if you recognise yourself in this, then you are a light. So the eyewear rules for the lights. So to create harmony and balance, you are going to look amazing in frames in light to mid depth colours. You can wear both warm and cool tones, but they need to be light. And you probably find it far easier to shop in the summer than you do in the winter. So as a light, what you want to steer clear of is those dark colours on the face, like the blacks and browns and tortoise shells, because these can really overpower you and throw shadows on the face and highlight those fine lines and wrinkles. Now lights in general have great difficulty in most opticians finding frame colours which suit them as many optical practices tend to naturally carry the darker or the really bright tones. But at Style Optique, if you are a light, we have plenty of beautiful options for you. So here are some examples of the depth or types of colours that lights can wear. Now you can wear loads more colours than this, but I just wanted to give you a really brief kind of overview so that you could visualise. So if you are a light who is perhaps more dramatic or creative in style, you can experiment with the lighter, brighter colours like turquoise, light aquas, geranium reds and, and rose pinks. If you are a light and you prefer more understated neutral tones, perhaps you're more classic in your style, we can look at the lighter neutrals like a mid grey, light grey, um, a light navy. In fact, a light navy would be the darkest colour that I would want to put on your face and it would in effect work as your black So, in contrast to the lights, we have the deeps. So, if this is you, your overall look will be dark and strong. You will have mid-brown to black hair, deep, dark eyes, dark lashes and brows, and your skin tone can vary anything from porcelain to dark brown. So, if you have this overall look, then you are a deep so as a deep, you look amazing in strong, bright and deep, intense colours. You can also wear both warm and cool tones, but they need to have a strength and they need to have a depth. You can also look incredible in black and fantastic in two deep, dark colours together. Now, what you want to avoid as a deep is a very light or pastel tones which can work against your natural colouring and make you look a little bit washed out. Now again here's some examples of colours that you can wear as a deep. So if you are a deep and you prefer sort of more understated um, neutral colours then yeah go ahead go for those blacks those dark browns those dark navies and mahoganies they're all going to look phenomenal on you if you are a deep and you love colour go for a high contrast black and red or a strong colour alone like emerald green purple a lime or a royal blue all of those kind of deep intense strong colours are going to look incredible on you so the next colour type I'm going to discuss is the warms. So if you are a warm, your overall look is going to be warm and golden. You will have red toned hair, anything from strawberry blonde to auburn. Your eyes will probably be green, um, blue, topaz or a warm brown eye with some golden flecks. You may even have warm brown or reddish eyebrows and eyelashes and your skin can vary anything from a porcelain probably with freckles but if darker it will have a golden glow to it. 
so that I wear rules for you if you are warm. Well, because your overall look is warm and golden, balance and harmony is achieved if you wear eyewear colours with a warm or yellow undertone to them. And those sort of mid-depth colours are often better than the very light ones or the very deep ones. What you want to avoid as a warm are blue-based cooler tones, which can actually make the skin appear a little bit dull and grey. So if you are a warm and you prefer a more understated look, then bronzes, uh, chocolate brown and tortoise shells will work well for you, as will natural materials like wood. Now, if you are a dramatic warm, then you will look fabulous in those bold tones like mustards, turquoises, ambers and reds. And all of those are really super colours for warms this season. So in contrast to the warms, we have our cools. Now, if you are a cool, your overall look will be cool and icy. So your hair will be white, grey, ash blonde, or even black with no red tones to it at all. Many of us, as we get a little bit older, tend to move towards the, the cooler toned palette. So that your, your eyes may be anything from blue to grey or even a cool brown with no kind of yellow or golden flecks to it. And your skin will often have a pinky or rosy tone to it. Or if you are a darker skin tones, it will appear to have a blue tinge. In some cases, cool skin can look a little bit sallow too. So the eyewear rules for you if you are a cool. So cool should wear colours with a cool or blue undertone for harmony. Now you can wear black, um, but a softer charcoal colour is off charcoal, sorry, it's a little bit better as you get older. Cools also look fabulous in, in, in pinks, blues and aquas, which can all be really striking for a cool palette. High contrast cool tones work great too, and silver is always better than gold. What you want to avoid as a cool is yellow-based colours on the face. Avoid oranges, yellows and golds, because these can make the skin appear yellow and very sallow. So if you are someone who is a cool and you prefer a more understated look, then the neutral colours like silver metals, navy blues and charcoals and greys are going to look fabulous on you. Now, if you are a more dramatic cool, then you are going to look fabulous in hot pinks, bright blues, um blue-based reds and raspberry colours and things like that and you can really go for it with with experimenting with these bright colours because they do look fabulous on a cool against your white hair. So the next colour type we are going to talk about is the clear. Now if you are a clear your overall look will be clear and contrasting a mix of light and dark your hair will be dark very often a mid brown to a black and your eyes will be your most striking feature you will have a bright clear eye it's very often blue topaz green or a clear hazel or brown eye. Now you may be confused at this point of whether you are a deep or not but if you are a clear your eyes will not be dark it will be they will be lighter and brighter and there will be a big contrast between the whites of your eyes and the colour of the iris and if you are a clear you will have dark eyebrows and lashes and your skin tone can be anything from light to dark but there is an overall high contrast in your look. So the eyewear rules for you if you are a clear. So if you wear one colour, then it should be bright and clear. You also look amazing in a high contrast of dark and light. So a black and white can look phenomenal. You can also wear both warm and cool shades, but they must have a clarity to them and a brightness to them. 
So in eyewear, you're going to look great in bright, bold colours, contrast of light and dark, and adding sparkle or sheen to a frame can really help to bring them alive. And if you are, so what you want to avoid actually, let's just go back, sorry, what you want to avoid as a clear is a pale pastel colours, which can make you look a little bit washed out and greyed out. So if you are a clear and you love dramatic colours, you will be in your element because you look fantastic in any of those bright jewel toned colours. Reds, greens, blues, pinks, aquas, all of those colours are going to look amazing on you. And in a high sheen or a bit of glitz or sparkle are really going to add to that impact for you. If you're clear and you prefer a more classic understated look, then a black and white high contrast is going to be effective. Um, a, a black on its own, a dark navy, and those kind of deep rich colours are also going to look great against your paler skin. So the final colour type we're going to talk to uh, talk to you about today is the soft. And the soft is actually the most common dominant type in the UK. And if you were confused over which category that you fit in, you are probably a soft. Uh, softs can op often have a mix of features which can confuse. So if you are a soft, your overall look is soft and blended. There's very little contrast. Your hair is very often highlighted or a dark blonde, mousy brown and will lighten in the summer and get darker in the winter. Your eyes can be of any colour, but they're not particularly light and they're not particularly dark. They're very mid-toned and have a blended look. If you have light hair and kind of mid to dark eyes, you won't be a light, but you'll be a soft so everything about the soft is really mid-toned, nothing too light or nothing too dark. So because your look is blended, you look better in contrast to the clears in those softer, more muted tones and tones of the same colour. So the eyewear rules for the softs. So keep the overall look elegant and tone on tone. So those are colours which are similar to each other rather than high contrast colours. So shades that are soft and subdued work well. You can wear both warm and cool colours, but the colour itself needs to be soft or muted. So for an example, an olive green instead of a bright emerald green. Now materials such as wood or matte metals and acetates can help to soften a colour. And again, many softs struggle to find eyewear in most opticians as many frames can be too dark or too bright for them. So what we want to avoid as a soft is really high contrast colours, dark colours or really bright colours because they can all really overwhelm and overpower you as a soft. So here are some examples of some colours that you can do as a soft. So if you are a soft and you prefer a more understated, classy style, then colours like charcoal and teals and rose brown and navies are going to be great for you. The maximum depth I would put on your face would be a light navy. Now, if you are a soft and you have a little bit of a dramatic side to you, we can experiment with some brighter shades, but I will choose them in a matte um, material just to soften the, the colour a little bit and take the edge off. We can also experiment with some of the unusual colours that you get in the soft palette, things like putting plum and um, blush pink together. So those are the six different colour types and hopefully you've managed to discover your own colour types. It's just one of the key areas that we assess when we book for a styling consultation, um, when we book you for a styling consultation with us. Now, another important aspect of colour, which I think is very important and which we use to help you create the right impressions is the psychology of colour. So we know that the darker colours in your palette can be seen as more authoritative, as more credible, as more powerful. We know that the brighter tones can be seen as more fun and enthusiastic and energetic. And we know that the softer tones are more nurturing and approachable. So what I want to touch on now is the psychology of a few of the main eyewear colours. 
So the first one we're going to touch on is black. Now, many people choose black because they use it as an easy colour which goes with everything and something they can just hide away in. But actually, black is a very strong colour. It portrays mystery, power and sophistication. It is, in fact, a very bold impact colour and can be great when you want to exert power or authority in both business and life. However, Black can also signify a lack of imagination and can keep people at a distance as it gives the wearer the impression of being a little bit intimidating and a little less approachable. So if you're in a kind of creative role or if you work with children or the elderly, people won't open up to you as much in black. So it's a colour to avoid. It's also a good colour to avoid in any negotiations if you want people to open up to you or you need to build trust. Black is not great for softs and lights who would be far better in a light navy. That would work as your black alternative. And, and if you are warm in colouring, then a deep, rich chocolate brown would work as your black alternative. So the second colour I want to talk to you about is red. Now, red is the second favourite colour amongst both men and women. It is the colour our eyes are drawn to the most, which is why it's often used for, you know, emergency stop signs and things like that. So knowing this information, red is a great colour to wear if you want to be noticed in business and life, if you want to make a bold impact. It's also the colour of winners and sports teams that wear red have been proven to win 10% more often than sports teams that wear other colours. Red can send off signals that you're confident, you're empowered, you're exciting and upbeat. Um, be warned though, um, too much red can come across as domineering, bossy and threatening. Um, red is a wonderful colour for clears and deeps and warms and it also works really well for cools if it's kind of a blue toned raspberry red and even softs and lights if it's in a matte material or it's more a more softer geranium red but it is a very powerful colour. The next colour we're going to talk about is pink. So pink is a very approachable, nurturing, sensitive, non-threatening colour. It's a great colour to wear if you want people to open up to you and you just don't want to come across as threatening. So if you work with children or counselling, um, it's a great colour for you. Now, the brighter tones of pink, the fuchsias and, fuchsias and the hot pink can come across as imaginative and creative. Uh, a new study actually has claimed to have discovered that men who wear pink earn an extra £1,000 a year, are better qualified, more confident in their own masculinity and get a greater number of compliments from female colleagues. Now, pink is a great colour for every single colour type. Warms need to be a little bit careful and they'll need to choose a sort of more warmer pink tone like salmon pink. The next colour I'm going to talk to you about is blue. And this is, of course, the world's best colour. It's the most loved colour amongst both men and women. So it is a great colour to choose. So blue induces a sense of calm and is associated with loyalty and trust. Apparently seeing the colour blue can evoke chemicals in our body that are relaxing and calming. So if you want to project authority and power, a deep blue can be a great alternative to black. If you want to come across as a little bit more fun, those kind of lighter, brighter blues can show that. And apparently an azure blue hints at determination and ambition, so it's a great colour to wear for interviews. Blue is another colour which works for most colour types. Warms um will look far better in a sort of more warmer greeny blues. 
yellow. Now, the reason I'm talking about yellow is because yellow is one of the Pantone colours. So this is going to be a big colour this year in both clothes and eyewear. Now, yellow is a great colour to wear if you are feeling down. It's shown to in increase serotonin and lift the mood of those around them, hence why we all feel better in the sun. Now, wearing the colour yellow is associated with creativity, spontaneity, enthusiasm and fun. However, it can give the impression of being impulsive, so perhaps not best to be seen in if asking the bank manager for a loan, as they may think you're high risk. Um, and it's also, it can make, they always advise not to paint a baby's nursery in yellow because it can be quite an energetic colour and too much of it can actually make us feel a little bit nauseous too. Um, but yellow is no doubt a great colour that can be quite uplifting. It can be a difficult colour to wear, particularly on the face, but does look incredible on warms, clears and deeps if we get the right yellow. Now, cools... Um, can have a frame with a little lemon or icy yellow in it but we would need to be very very careful and again the same with softs and lights because yellow is is um, a brighter tone so we could we could look at some more paler yellows or use yellow as an accent color or look at it in a matte material so that is all about the psychology of color so I do hope you've enjoyed this presentation today. And as I said, colour is just one very small component of a styling consultation. Our dedicated one hour eyewear styling consultation in practice includes a style personality analysis. So we can help you discover eyewear which matches or works with your personal style and your clothing style. The colour analysis, which is what we've touched on today, helping you discover eyewear which enhances your natural colours and is also in a colour that you love. We do a facial analysis, so we help you discover eyewear which is going to highlight your best features. And of course, we have access to some of the world's most beautiful eyewear. We also discuss with you lenses that work well for both your lifestyle and also which look cosmetically great in your frame too. So our dedicated one hour styling consultation is perfect for you if you have always felt uncomfortable or bad in glasses or you think you just don't suit glasses. It's perfect for you if you're really disappointed with the lack of choice and variety on the high street. It's also great for you if you have a really high prescription and have always been restricted with frame choice. We have access to such a variety of shapes and styles in lenses uh, such a variety of shapes and styles in frames but also we have access to one of the world's thinnest lenses which is not available in many opticians so that can really open up some amazing possibilities for you as a, a high prescription glasses wearer. It's also perfect for you if you appreciate high quality, individuality, detail and craftsmanship over cheap prices. So I'm sure you want to know a little bit about what others who've come to us for a styling consultation are saying. So this is Lynn. Lynn came to us because she was feeling um, a bit bored with what was on the high street and she was looking for something which would reflect her more dramatic style. And she has a wonderful clear colouring. And this is what Lynn says about her consultation with us. Wow. Wow. You made me feel like the only person in the world that mattered and time stood still. If anyone is looking for a boost after this dreadful year, this is the best place to get one. You will leave feeling amazing. I did. We also had Karen. Karen was someone who just could not find on the high street a pair of glasses which reflected her. So she was settling for classic frames and boring styles which she just didn't feel like herself in and it actually made her feel quite depressed. So she came for a styling consultation with us and she said she just felt really, really happy. I love my new glasses. They are so me. My experience was amazing. And she said it was by far the best thing to have happened to her this year. 
So here we have Charlotte. Charlotte is a doctor and she came to us because she was looking for something a little bit different. But Charlotte was more naturally attracted to the sort of more neutral sophisticated tones but we wanted something to reflect a little bit of her dramatic side and something which would pull out her beautiful gorgeous blue eyes and also be in balance and harmony with that gorgeous um, textured tones and colours in her hair so we chose a frame which really kind of pulled that out and she said what a great experience she felt like she was being styled and pampered in an upmarket boutique rather than a traditional trip to the opticians. And it also felt very COVID safe. And then we have Marae. Marae came to us because she was very petite and she'd always been restricted elsewhere by either having to have children's frames, which she didn't really like, or have frames were a little bit oversized and just felt uncomfortable and too big for her so she came to us and she was really at a point in her life when she wanted some frames which reflected her as a person and, and Marae says the styling was amazing expressing myself daring to do so right up front on my nose has been so powerful I feel in control of me and my life so hopefully you can see there we are not just an ordinary opticians we want to help you look good and feel good in your eyewear and make a difference to you and your life so if you are ready now to book your styling consultation with us, there are three ways to do that. You can either head on over to our website and download a voucher for just £9 for your styling consultation at www.styleoptique.co.uk. You can send us an email and mention this presentation and we will honour the price of the styling consultation for you. So just send us an email at info at styleoptique.co.uk. Or you can give us a call and again, just mention this colour presentation and 01630 652 945. In addition, if you mention this colour presentation, you will get a £50 gift certificate towards your perfect eyewear. Now, if you've got to the end of this presentation and you think maybe, you know, this is not for you, but maybe you have friends and family that this would be perfect for, please feel free to share this video with them and send them a link to our website. And we want to help as many people as possible to go from feeling drab in their eyewear to feeling fabulous. Thank you so much for being with me today. I've really enjoyed being with you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.